been a while. It's been kind of a busy week. Um, just wanted to jump in here real quick before I get the day started today um, and chat with you about a couple of things to see if I can potentially help you on something. Um, got a few tasks behind me that I'm gonna chat with you about. Um, but, oh, sorry, just had somebody jump in on the side there. Um, so my name is Paul Maynard and I am a real estate photographer. I also um, have a mentorship program where I coach not only real estate photographers, but other solopreneurs as well. And so just had a couple of thoughts that came through my mind this morning while I was working out, listening uh, to a YouTube stream. That's what I generally do is when I wake up in the morning, I listen to something that is motivational, inspirational, get my thoughts going. And then I take out my color note and I kind of write things down on here. Actually, I speak into the phone while I'm working out so I can continue to do what I'm doing. So <clears throat> one of the things that came to my mind today, besides working on my health, because here's the thing, if you don't work on your health, you have nothing. Like if you don't have your health, I mean, you know this, you don't have anything. And usually you do not know that until your health is not good, right? You really don't think about your health too much until you're sick, until you're not feeling well at all. Um, so, hold on one second. I got somebody sh sharing a chat with me. Okay. Um, so anyway, make sure you work on your health. Do something because if you don't, what's going to happen, something's going to creep up on you and kind of smack you. And that kind of happened to me. Uh, basically what happened was, um, I did stop working out for a while. And then as I was working through my day, doing lots of, you know, six shoots a day, driving in my car, not taking care of my body, I de developed two herniated discs in my back. So I've been recovering for the last couple of years on that. Um, I am seeing the specific chiropractor. He's not a cracking or popping guy. He uses this little hand tool and it's really saved my life. Um, I'm back to snowboarding. I'm back to uh, playing golf. Um, I'm hiking, paddle boarding. Well, not paddle boarding this time of year. It's a little too cold. Um, so, but what it's done was, what it's done has reminded me of how important my health is. So now every morning I do something every morning. I have some specific stretches that I do every morning that are all, and then they're all exercises that are core based. So I'm making sure that I work on my health. Now the silver lining behind all of that is that I'm getting, not only getting healthier, but I'm getting more flexible. Um, I'm feeling better about myself. Um, so my, you know, not that I had low self-esteem before, but I just feel really strong about what it is that I'm doing because I'm working out and my blood is pumping. It's going through my body. And then as I'm listening to something, it's, it's helping my mind as well. So those are the things you kind of want to do is when you work on your health, you work on your, your brain health as well at the same exact time. Um, so that was one of the things uh, that you want to do. And then the other is being present, like be present in the moment that you're out, that you're in, because if you're constantly, if you're constantly thinking about the future and not that it's, there's anything wrong about thinking of the future, but if you're not being in that present moment, then you're missing out on the happiness of where you are of being present because all you have is right now. You don't have the future because you don't know where the future lies. You don't know what's going to happen today. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yes, you plan for things. You write goals. You um, you plan for certain things, but you don't know what's going to happen. So the only thing you have is to be present. Be really happy where you are. Be happy with the clothes that you're wearing. Be happy that you know you have a, a roof over your head and be happy that you have water and food and, and all of that. Because if you're not being present, how can you be happy if you're constantly thinking about the future? It's kind of stressful if you're constantly thinking about the future, right? So be present. Um, and to do that, you work on your mindset. If you work on your mindset every single day, you can help yourself become present. Because I know it's not easy. Sometimes it's challenging. We're humans, right? We, we think about things in the future all the time because we're always, humans want to progress, but humans want to better themselves. So you have to learn how to just stop, be still, take a deep breath. When you do that, you can real, really settle yourself in and kick back and chill and, and just take a look around everything that you have and enjoy what's around you. And that's how you get true happiness is being present. So 
Um, one of the things that was going on today when I was doing my workout and listening to my mindset stuff was um, time. I was thinking about time and how, you know, when you're 18 years old, you think you have all the time in the world, right? You think you're, um, that nothing can happen to you and, and that you are, you know, the strongest person. And, but then when you, when you're 56 or maybe you're in your thirties or in your forties, you think back on, man, I can't believe that I'm 56. Like I feel like I was 18 just yesterday and I do. And I still feel like I'm 18 years old in my mind, my body, not so much sometimes, but the reason I'm sharing this with you is that your time is not on your side, right? Time is your most precious um, commodity. So if you have goals, if you have dreams, if you have things that you want to accomplish, take advantage of them now because time is not going to help you. It's going to continue going on and the year is going to be passed and you're going to think, man, what happened? You know, don't wait till January 1st to write resolutions and, and to change yourself. Change yourself today. Do something for yourself today and then build upon what you did today, tomorrow. And so tomorrow, try to be better than you were today, but be present in that moment. But, you know, take action in the things that you're striving for. You know, as I build my mentorship and coaching business, I'm still operating my real estate photography company. You know, that's paying the bills. But if I want to, and the reason I'm doing the coaching and the mentorship is because I love it. I absolutely love doing this. I love turning on the video camera. I love talking to people. I like to take information that I either um, listen to in an audio book or while I'm doing my workout, um, listening to something and then come on here and then share my thoughts about that where maybe I can help somebody. Um, so, you know, make sure you're taking action and make sure you're taking action every single day. You want to take daily action steps towards the things that you want to do. Don't put off um what you can do today to do it tomorrow because you might not have tomorrow and it's just one step closer right you can't get to the top of the stairs um, just by jumping to the top right you have to go one step at a time so that's what you need to do that's what i'm i'm asking for you to do today i want you to be present i want you to have a mindset of how important your time is today so you take action. That's the other thing I should write on the board is the action steps to take advantage of the time you have today towards the thing that you're working towards. So this could just be really short today because I just wanted to share this with you. Um, there's going to be more of this coming. Of course, this last week was really busy. We have the holidays coming up. Really exciting, uh, excited about that. I'm going up to uh, Breckenridge, Colorado this weekend to celebrate Christmas actually this weekend with some friends because a lot of friends are traveling. And then the week after, we'll go back to Breckenridge to uh, dog sit and house sit, which is really fun because then we'll get to do some snowboarding too. So I'll be sharing content with you guys while I'm up there, probably from the mountain, uh, maybe even while I'm snowboarding, well, which would be a good time. So um, I appreciate your time. I hope this helps you. If it does, if you feel that this can help somebody else, please share it. Um, if you'd like to learn more about uh, the mini memberships that are coming up. It's going to be just $7 a month mini membership. There's going to be tons of content in there to help you. Um, I just want to help other people better themselves, whether you are a solopreneur, um, doesn't matter what industry that you're in. Maybe you're a coach yourself or wanting or thinking about coaching, or you want to inspire people in a certain way. Um, there's going to be a lot of content that'll be in there to help you build it either starting from scratch and or, um, expanding from where you currently are. Um, so that'll be coming. If, uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, you always, you can always uh, send me a direct message going, Hey Paul, I am interested in that. Um, in the meantime, if you do like the content, you've seen a lot of my content on TikTok and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Um, Hey, buy me a beer. That's what that link is in the chat and then down below um, where you can just say, hey, here's a beer, Paul. And then I'll drink a beer and I'll record it and say, hey, thank you from the bar drinking my beer. Or maybe we can do a live stream and we can cheers together. So anyway, I hope you guys having a good day. Be safe out there. Be smart. Take action. Be present. Take care of your health.
and I am going to see you soon. Take care.